Hello everyone. On today's session, we will show how we can check uh, from U2020 uh, real-time uh, cell throughput and real-time user throughput. Uh, it's very it's very important for us to check um, the real-time throughput. That like if you have a customer complaint, so from the system you can check actually what is his throughput and suppose you have any deployed any feature so how it's uh, impacting the throughput you can check from that so what we need to do we need to go to signaling trace management uh, we click on it then the signaling trace management window will open i have opened it previously because it takes some time to open so i have opened it previously so this is the signaling trace management window so we go to LTE then cell performance monitoring under that uh, there is a um, there's a uh, there's a topic named general throughput monitoring so we go on to that then we click new from here so a new uh, window will pop up where you need to go give the um, the trace name whatever you uh, uh, whatever you want you give a trace name then you give the you give the site name and you give the site name uh, which uh, site you want to check and uh, then you click ok and you click from the checkbox that site then you click next then you need to give the local cell id of the uh, cell that you want to check the throughput so we give the cell id the local cell id and we keep the check marks the rlc throughput gbr throughput non gbr throughput if you don't have in your network non gbr and gbr throughput rlc throughput is okay mainly we calculate the rlc throughput and in my network there is no gbr service so i click only on the rlc throughput then we click finish then actually we will be able to see uh, the real time uh, throughput of the cell uh, 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 like per second how much uh, uh, throughput the cell is uh, generating uh, sorry it's already generated so let's double click on the uh, profile that we created a new uh, window will open from there uh, you see see uh, the throughput uh, it's showing so the throughput actually is in bps because currently uh, the throughput is uh, a bit fluctuating because it's a non busy hour time so it's fluctuating between 6 mbps and 1 mbps 2 mbps like from here this is the uplink and this is the downlink rlc throughput this is the uplink rlc throughput so if you want to check uh, the real time throughput from here you can check the cell performance because uh, like for you for prs to check from the prs it takes at least one hour to check the throughput suppose you have deployed any feature so it takes time to check from uh, PRS and from here you can easily check the real time per second how much throughput is generating the cell you can check from here so this is one thing another thing is if you want to check the user throughput so user throughput you need to go uh, a bit down after the cell performance there is another tab called user performance monitoring from there you can check there is another topic named throughput monitoring in throughput monitoring you can check actually the users users throughput how much is the user throughput is generating or maybe if if he, uh, a user is giving complaint you can check from here what is the throughput it's getting So we click on new. Uh, we give um, a name of the file. Actually, the problem is um, uh, in our system, we are not allowed to take the uh, throughput 
uh, user troubles so I'm just showing you the procedure so you click uh, one of the BTS here and we give a name then if you click next uh, sorry we don't have a uh, the permission here so what uh, what we have to do actually I will show you and then we will uh, another window will pop up that will uh, you require to fill up is the MME number and the user teamz after you fill up that uh, file uh, it will show you what is the uh, what is the uh, value of the uh, throughput it's in getting i will show you from a previous uh, created uh, uh, file what uh, it will show you it will show you the inode b id physical cell id this is the mac throughput and uplink user throughput this is the throughput actually it's the user's throughput so uh, from here you can actually check the users how much it's uh, it's currently getting so like well, and i will show you another thing that what you can see actually from here you can actually check box check the those things you see all these things it's showing here suppose if if you don't want to see that it's a double things here you can uncheck these things and it will not appear in here you see it's gone so if you have the permission to check the user throughput from your system you can directly check from here what is the user throughput it's getting so it's very easy to calculate and easy to check actually from the customer complaint suppose user is complaining i'm getting low throughput this issue this issue so from user team z actually you can put in u2000 and you can check actually how much throughput the user is getting so from this thing you can actually troubleshoot from here then suppose you if you want to change any parameter after changing the parameter you can check if the throughput improve, improves or not so this gives a very uh, upper hand to you that you don't have to always go for the drive test and you don't need to check regularly you need to go because it's a time consuming thing so from actually from the system you can actually do um, perform those things so it's very easy i think this video will help you how to check the throughput and uh, the cell level throughput and user level throughput so i hope that you give up if you like the video you, you will give a thumbs up and like subscribe to our channel for our upcoming videos to show up in your screen in the in your home feed so do support us and i hope that we will be able to come up with new videos uh, that will be interesting so thank you very much for our session take care